Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jacobs again, and I want to take a moment to answer some parent emails. So some uh, questions that's been asked quite often, I think it would be helpful for everyone. All right, our first email is from Kathy. Kathy says, uh, hey Dr. Jacobs, uh, do we have to take a Chromebook in the Chromebook deployment or the uh, student bundles? We already have a device. <clears throat> Kathy, that's a great question. If you have a device at home, you don't have to take a Chromebook. However, we do think Canvas, which is the platform we're gonna be using, will work well with the Johnson City Schools device. So it's optional, but if you can take one, I think that's a good, it's a good idea. All right, next question is from Samantha. All right, Samantha says, uh, you know, I saw the video, but I've not heard anything from my child's teacher. What should I do? Great question, Samantha. What I would suggest is, I know we had 16 teachers in professional development yesterday that weren't able to finish their phone calls. If you haven't received the phone call, just call the front office and then uh, we'll make sure you connect with your teacher and we can give you your child's assigned teacher. All rosters are done. Great question. Ryan says, Hey, Dr. Jacobs, when will we get more information on what remote teaching will look like? Uh, Ryan, that's an excellent question. So what we did is we took feedback from a parent survey that we received in the spring and we identified major targets or major goals for remote teaching. Several things that we heard from parents, uh, we, you guys want consistency in assignments. So that's one of the things that we're working on. A consistent communication across the board for parents and students grading on assignments. If kids do the work, they need to get a grade. We're working on that. Uh, providing individual feedback to students, and we think that's something that's really important, so we have a plan for providing feedback to students. And then communicating expectations uh, for students and families during remote learning. Uh, we have all of those things in place, and that's an excellent question. My next question is from Garrett, and it says, hey, Dr. J, when are you going to grow a beard? Uh, uh, really? Oh, okay. Let's just, let's just keep moving. Move. <laughs> let's just keep moving on. From Jordan. Great question, Jordan. Uh, let's see. It says, we got our call today, but our teacher wasn't sure about attendance. So what would attendance look like in the future? Attendance is a, it's an excellent question. It's something that our district is working on for me. I want to make sure that our students get counted present and get credit for being online during the day if it's set up for uh, uh, attendance during the day. Uh, but if a student can't be online during the day and they access Canvas and their activities at night, I want them to get credit for that as well. So some folks at our central office are going to be meeting, give us more guidance some guidelines on attendance, but I want to be sure that all of our students get credit for attendance if they put the effort in for the day. All right, Melissa asks, um, so Dr. Jacobs, what would a daily schedule look like? I need to plan for child care. What will my child be doing every day? All right, and Melissa, what I have here is just from one of your teams, and it's actually a daily schedule. Now, every parent will receive a daily schedule from your teacher and from the team of teachers that you're on. Basically, class or school is gonna start 7.50 in the morning to 2.50 in the afternoon. So you need to plan for instructional time during the day from 7.50 to 2.50. Now, each individual class will have a different structure. During the day, there will be a math block, a language arts block, and a science and social studies block. Your, your child will also have two related arts classes as well, but each class will have a different structure and that teacher will communicate with you through Canvas and your child to let you know how that class is gonna be structured. I know there'll be direct instruction and a lot of student independent work. Teachers may teach live. They may record lessons, or record videos of them teaching so a student can access it separately. So there's a lot of different ways a separate, a single class can look, but overall schedule for the day is set and you'll be receiving that from your teachers. All right, and that's all the questions I have for now. I appreciate you taking time to contact me and we'll try to get more information out. All right, have a great day, thanks.